Michael Joseph Jackson, a.k.a. the King of Pop. Michael Jackson was born on August 29, 1958, in Gary, Indiana, to parents Joseph Walter and Catherine Esther Jackson. This was Joe and Catherine's seventh child. Joe Jackson had been a guitarist, but had to put his aspirations aside to support his family and become a local crane operator. Joe Jackson always knew his sons had tremendous talent. He pushed them to succeed and was known for his violent fits and abuse in his quest for success. In the early years, the boy started playing at small events and quickly developed a following. Shortly after, they began to do opening acts for artists like James Brown and Gladys Knight. In 1967, the Jackson Five signed on with Steel Town Records and started their professional career. As the group progressed, Gladys Knight persuaded Motown Records founder Barry Gordy to take a listen to these five boys from Indiana. The talent of these young men astonished Mr. Gordy, and in 1969, they officially signed with Motown Records. Shortly thereafter, Mr. Gordy moved the entire family to California, where the boys began working on their performance and recording music with Joe Jackson as their manager. In August 1969, the Jackson 5 was officially introduced to the professional music industry. They quickly became the opening act for the popular soul group, The Supremes. Their first album, Diana Ross Presents the Jackson 5, hit the charts in December of 1969. Its first single, I Want You Back, reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in 1970. Despite the group's great success, there was trouble between Jackson's and their record company. Tensions mounted between Gordy and Joseph Jackson over the management of his children's careers and their level of participation in developing their own music. The Jacksons wanted more control of their recordings, which led to most of the Jacksons breaking ties with Motown in 1975 and signing with Epic Records, who now called themselves the Jacksons. And in 1978, Destiny was released. Michael Jackson and his brothers emerged as talented songwriters, penning all of the record's tracks. Michael's solo career also helped buoy the Jacksons' career as well. 1980 marked the release of Triumph, which sold more than one million copies, and the brothers went on an extensive tour to support the album. Jackson, however, continued to branch out in his own endeavors, concentrating on his solo career more than the fame and success of the group. At 13, Jackson had launched his solo career in addition to his work with the Jacksons. He made the charts in 1971 with Got To Be There, from the album of the same name. His 1972 album, Ben, featured the ballad about a rat, which became Jackson's first solo number one hit. Working with producer Quincy Jones, Michael Jackson wowed the music world with his next solo album, 1979's Off The Wall. It contained an infectious blend of pop and soul with such hits as Don't Stop Till You Get Enough and Rock With You. And in 1982, Jackson teamed up with legend Sir Paul McCartney to do the duet The Girl Is Mine, which nearly reached the top of the pop charts. The song also appeared on his next solo album in 1982, the infamous Thriller, which generated seven top ten hits and became the best-selling album in music history. On the television special Motown 25, Jackson performed Billie Jean, which would eventually become a number one hit and debuted his famous dance move, The Moonwalk. Jackson, a veteran performer by this time, created this step himself and choreographed the dance sequences for his music video for the number one hit, Beat It. Jackson's most successful music video, though, was for the album's title track, Thriller. John Landis directed the horror-themed video, which featured complex dance scenes, special effects, and a voiceover by horror film great Vincent Price. The Thriller video was an immense success, boosting sales for the already successful album. The single stayed on the charts for 80 weeks, holding the number one spot for 37 weeks straight. In addition to his unimaginable achievements, Thriller earned 12 Grammy nominations, winning eight in total. He won a total of 13 Grammy Awards. Jackson was the first artist to have five singles reach number one from the same album. He was also a double inductee to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 
At the height of his fame, he signed a $5 million contract with Pepsi Cola. However, in 1984, he was injured severely with burns to his face and scalp during the filming of a commercial for the soda giant. And it is believed that this was the time he began experimenting with plastic surgery. Over the next several years, his looks would be dramatically altered. His skin color, face structure, and nose would all be different. Jackson gave a rare television interview. Sitting down with Oprah Winfrey, he explained that the change in his skin tone was due to a disease called vitiligo. He also opened up about the severe abuse endured from his father. That same year, Jackson embarked on his final tour with the Jacksons to support the album, Victory. In 1985, Jackson showed his selfless side, co-writing and singing We Are The World, a charity single from USA to Africa. In 1987, Bad was released. It featured five number one hits. The title track was supported by a video directed by Martin Scorsese. While successful, Bad was unable to duplicate the phenomenal success of Thriller. Jackson was very quiet and shy off stage. He was never comfortable with the stardom or media attention he received. By the late 1980s, he had successfully created his own private fantasy world called Neverland. He kept exotic pets and even had his own amusement rides. In 1993, rumors and allegations of child molestation emerged. It was known that he would have sleepovers at Neverland with boys. But this was his first claim of any wrongdoing. No evidence was ever found. And the following year, Jackson settled the case out of court with the boys' family. Other allegations emerged, but Jackson continued to maintain his innocence. In 1994, Michael had announced his marriage to the king of rock and roll's daughter, Lisa Marie Presley. It was a short union, and in 1996, their divorce was finalized. Many believed it was a publicity stunt to boost Jackson's image after all the negativity he had endured. Shortly after his divorce from Presley, Jackson wed nurse Debbie Rowe. The couple had two children through artificial insemination. Rowe and Jackson divorced in 1999, with Jackson receiving full custody of their two children. He would go on to have a third child in 2002 with an unknown surrogate. Jackson's music career began to decline dramatically. He released a record in 1995, which spawned two hits, You Are Not Alone, and a duet with his sister Janet Jackson, Scream. And Michael and Janet both earned a Grammy for the track. By 2001, Jackson was better known as an eccentric and not the talented man he once was. The odd stories reported began to overshadow his amazing talent. He often appeared in public wearing a mask and his children's faces were always hidden. 2004 brought additional legal woes when Jackson was arrested on charges related to incidents with another young boy. Now, Michael faced 10 counts in all. On June 14, 2005, Jackson was acquitted of all charges. However, his reputation was destroyed and wealth diminished. Michael couldn't even pay his most basic finances. As a last effort to reclaim his name, Jackson announced that he would be performing a series of concerts in London as his final curtain call. The tour was set to start July 8, 2009. On June 25, 2009, Michael suffered from sudden cardiac arrest while in bed at his rented mansion in Los Angeles, California. Sadly, he would now never get to experience the chance at regaining his name or fame. He was just 50 years old. The news of Jackson's death resulted in an outpour from the public, showing grief and sympathy. On July 12, 2009, a public memorial was televised at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. An estimated 1 billion viewers watched the memorial service on TV. In February of 2010, an official coroner's report was released, causing even more heartache. The King of Pop, died from a propofol overdose, which Jackson often referred to as his milk. It is believed that he had developed an addiction to it. In addition, he was given a cocktail containing Demerol, Ephedrine, and Ativan, which are believed to have stopped the star's already weakened heart. These drugs were used to help Jackson sleep at night, and were given by his private doctor, Conrad Murray, who found himself convicted of involuntary manslaughter on November 7, 2011. He was sentenced to a maximum of four years in prison. 
a tragic end for such an amazing artist, musician, and performer. 